This is a complete GS14 base rover kit. Inside this kit, we have our rod, our tripod. We have two GS14 antennas. Both have uh, internal GSM modems and one watt UHF radios for receive or transmit. We have three spare batteries inside the box. The data collector with the bracket in order to hold it on the pole included. We've got antenna adapters and we have any cables necessary for power included underneath the GS14s. In the top of the box, we have Tribrock, Tribrock adapter, memory cards, battery for long-term use all day long. We can use the internal batteries for up to six hours. We have a height measure, so we can measure the HIs without having to take random measurements to the bottom. This will read directly from our Tribrock adapter. We have our antennas, and we have any other additional pieces that would be needed based on other modems, different ways to attach them, or backpack setups. All right, now we're gonna take that GS14 system out to the field and do some work. So to start with, we're gonna set up a network rover. Uh, we're just gonna use a single one of the GS14 antennas and connect to a GSM network and receive RTK corrections from an RTK network that's available in the area. So for this, I need the data collector and one of the two antennas. Um, simply put the antenna on a pole like we normally would and power it up. The GPS receiver will start tracking automatically and we're gonna use a GSM connection available in the controller in this case. We could alternatively use the one in the antenna, but you'll use the one in the controller. Uh, we're going to get a correction from the local network and then apply it here. All right, we've connected everything. We've got our GPS up and running. Now you can see we're connected to a network. We're receiving our TK and we get a fixed solution. So now what do we do when we lose our GPS network? Well, we'll take a measurement on the network and we're going to set up our other GS14 here over this point as our base. So in this case, finished, stored the point. We're all done with this. We'd like to now set a base up over this exact same location and use this as a base point using just the other GS14. So now we've set the tripod up over our point, set the tribe rock up and we'll level it up and put it up over the point. Now we'll take the other GS14 receiver put it on with the height hook so we can measure up our height and all we simply have to do is just turn on the receiver and we're going to use the internal UHF radio that's inside our GS14 now while it's a base so it can transmit and receive it doesn't matter which one we pick so we'll put our uh, receiver up mount the height hook on so we can measure our HI pull our tape and then we've got a height we're going to measure it so once we've got everything set up over our base, we just need to attach all the UHF antennas to our systems to make sure we've got all the pieces installed. So on both the base and the rover, we're gonna attach a UHF antenna to extend the range of where we can go unit to unit. Um, there's two different antenna options. On the base, we're gonna use a upturned antenna to make sure it doesn't hit the tribe rock or the tripod, just snap it on. And then on the rover, we're gonna use a downturn since we have plenty of space. So in one case, one points up, one points down, we're gonna get the same range either way out of either one of the two radios. So now we'll set up our collectors to be able to talk to both of these. Here we are back on the controller and you can see it's fixed based on the GSM connection we had a minute ago. So now I'm gonna escape back to my instrument settings go to my connections and actually go to the RTK rover setup where we were using the controller internet and we're just gonna change this to using the GS radio. So here we use the internal radio. We're still gonna receive the uh, same RTCM3 connections but now we're gonna turn off the network features and we're gonna make sure that we're just using single baseline and no longer a network solution. And as soon as we set this up, you can see the arrow starts moving at the top as soon as we say okay because the base is up and broadcasting and you'll see we go float and we will fix next. There's an XRTK solution and then a full phase fix and we are ready to work. We've switched from GSM to UHF.